India is reporting a record surge in COVID-19 infections fueled by the Omicron variant. In the last 24 hours, India has reported over 100,000 cases. The country has crossed this mark in just eight days. Compared to India's second wave, where it took 47 days to breach the 100,000 mark. In the first wave, India took 107 days to reach this mark. The country's caseload also includes over 3,000 cases of the Omicron variant. Out of the total cases reported, nearly 1,200 people have recovered. The state of Maharashtra continuing to report the highest Omicron cases, followed by the national capital. While cases rose nationwide, Maharashtra in particular registered over 36,000 fresh cases, a sharp increase of 31.7% for the Western Indian state. The city of Mumbai, known as India's financial capital, accounted for nearly 20,000 cases. This beats the previous all-time high of 15,000 cases just a day before. The infection has also affected the state's doctors, with 338 resident doctors from various hospitals testing positive for the infection in the last four days. However, deaths in the state remain low, with 13 fatalities reported in 24 hours. Meanwhile, in Delhi, the official data showed that none of the confirmed Omicron cases required oxygen or ventilator support or have been admitted to the ICU so far. Several political parties have also halted their public campaigns as the cities imposed COVID-19 curfews and health experts warn of surging infection rates. On the other hand, India has revised its travel guideline for international passengers. A seven-day quarantine is a must for all international passengers coming to India. This is for all passengers, regardless of whether they test positive or negative. For those who test negative, they need to take another RT-PCR test on the eighth day. Our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddharth Sibyl, is now live on the broadcast with us, getting us the updates from New Delhi. Tell us more about the measures that we are looking at at this point, Siddharth. Uh, the international travelers now arriving in India will have to mandatorily quarantine whether they test positive or negative. Uh, well, yes, uh, we know that since uh, the start of the pandemic, it's the international uh, travel that has been majorly impacted because of the COVID cri crisis. In fact, airline uh, ha airline businesses have been majorly impacted. They are in they are bleeding because of uh, the the less and less uh, of travel we have seen. But talking about what India has done today, uh, the new guidelines basically calls for home quarantine, a seven-day home quarantine uh, for everyone uh, irrespective of from where they are coming. Now, of course, the Indian government has also released a list of 19 countries. Uh, this is an updated list. Uh, these are high-risk countries and any pa any traveler coming from these countries, uh, they will have to go through a mandatory COVID test here in India on their arrival. When it comes to international travel, we know uh, that uh, when when, when a uh, traveler has to come to India, they need to upload their status, their, their RT-PCR status on Air Sovidha. This is mandatory. Uh, if you haven't uploaded this, you won't be allowed to enter into India. And once you are here from these high-risk countries, you have to take a COVID test. Uh, what is special about the list that has been released by the Indian government today is that eight new countries have been added. These are eight African countries who have been added. Previously, the list had only around 11 countries. Now it's 19 countries and eight of them are African. One country which is non-African is Kazakhstan. And this is a, a, a development coming at a time when we know that Omicron, uh, the crisis, uh, the first crisis, the first virus, uh, was reported, the variant was reported in Africa and that is why uh, this new norm that has been introduced by the Indian government but domestically we know that India is heading towards more and more restrictions. In fact, uh, uh, today uh, the Delhi government said that when it comes to non-essential shops uh, uh, they will be open uh, through uh, through uh, their own uh, odd and even format uh, from uh, next few days and of course we know uh, that there is weekend curfew as well. Right, we're leaving it there for the moment. Sathan Sibyl getting us those uh, inputs. Uh, thanks very much. 
We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.